Meghan Markle enjoyed her parents' divorce and did not seem to be adversely affected with the separation which was handled quite well by Doria and Thomas, claimed the Duchess of Sussex's estranged half-sister Samantha Markle. Meghan Markle enjoyed having two households after her parents' divorce, claimed her half-sister Samantha Markle. Thomas Markle and Doria Ragland married in 1979 and divorced in 1987, when Meghan was aged six. Samantha added that Meghan had whatever she wanted materially alongside a great circle of friends. Speaking on Quest Red's documentary Meghan and Harry, a royal baby story, Samantha said, I think the divorce was handled by my father and Doria quite well. I didn't notice that Meghan was adversely affected by that, I think to the contrary. She enjoyed having two households. She had whatever she wanted materially and a great circle of friends. I do not think she wanted for anything or noticed the divorce, per se. Royal expert Katie Nichol explained to Quest Red, while well, Harry and Meghan both come from broken homes because Meghan's parents separated when she was just two. She was still brought up in a very loving, very stable home environment. Samantha also insisted that despite the recent rumors, Meghan and Harry will still have some help in raising their child. Samantha added, I think Meg will definitely get a nanny. I'm pretty sure that her threshold for stress could be quite low in the beginning. How many rooms in Frogmore? I can see them all being filled up with nannies. Meghan is very strong-minded and there will probably definitely be a butting of heads but Meghan could learn and grow from that. So if the nanny is strong enough then she won't leave in tears. Meghan and Prince Harry have settled into Frogmore Cottage, in Windsor ahead of the royal baby's birth. The Duchess of Sussex is due to give birth in April or early May. But royal fans may not find out any details about the birth of the baby Sussex for a while, as Kensington Palace also announced last week the royal couple will be keeping the birth plans private. A statement from the palace said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their Royal Highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. The Duchess mother Doria Ragland is due to fly from Los Angeles to the UK this month ahead of the birth of her first grandchild. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.